Now, again, the surprise is all a few months ago when it was revealed the Splatoon, Nintendo's new shooting game. And for the first time ever, I'm actually excited about a shooting game. So let's have a look at it and see how it plays. I'm as surprised as you are. A shooting game that BitSocket actually likes the look of. Bloody hell. But then, just look at it. I'm a sucker for cool character designs. And running about as these wee cartoon kids is much more interesting than another bloody moody soldier. But don't let the graphics fool you. Splatoon can be hell. Right. Joe knows nothing about shooting games. I'm your war correspondent in the dark, gloomy world of Splatoon. Except, it's not dark or gloomy. In fact, this was one of the brightest things on display apart from the amiibo stand that shone brighter than the sun itself. What is Splatoon, I hear you cry out? Well, it's a third-person shooter where all the characters are punky wee girls firing big blobs of paint around in an effort to control the battlefield. Throw in the ability to turn into a squid to glide through your own paint and some brilliant multiplayer and you've got one of the freshest feeling games from Nintendo in quite some time. Other games at the show feel a bit like watching paint dry, but Splatoon is a rocket exploding its hot paint all over your face and chest. Aye, steady on Scott, it's not all about spraying your paint all over the shop. There's tactics there as well. Get stuck in another team's colour and you can't move as fast, leaving you vulnerable to plastering. As a man used to regularly dying in shooting games, the respawn dance is one that I've become well versed in. But wait, dying in platoon doesn't mean you have to trudge your way back to the front line. If your teammates are fighting for their lives on the other end of the level, just tap the gamepad and your wee squid will fly back into the action straight away. Or maybe you might want to avoid the fighting altogether, leaving the heavies to do the battling while you go to acquire a bit of the level and stealthily redecorate to your chosen colour. That's what I like about Splatoon. It's that typical Nintendo thing of approaching a type of game that I can't be arsed with, shooting, and giving me something left field to do with it. The worry is that folk who are more into standard shooting games will pass it by. And that'd be a shame, because Splatoon is a game that is dying for a massive, healthy group of folk playing online together. We're going to be cautiously optimistic though, and predict a wee Nintendo classic. 